all right and i saw a lot of people said hi and stuff in uh in the chat and so as i'd love to say you say hi where you're from and also here said his hi from london um if you want to share that that is you know always cool and if you've had unseasonable weather and feel like uh, putting that in there great <laughs> um also if you're new to zentangle or new to uh to this class uh would love to know that as well in the chat i put the link to the step outs now normally you know it's it's so funny i highly recommend um to have a steady stream of of new tangles coming in or even you know just reminders to subscribe to tanglepatterns.com and also to zentangle.com and i um when i'm showing this after i show this uh the step outs for that for the uh for the tangle we're gonna do um uh there were some things on on the entry oh it's already friday it's already friday there in australia um i'll show you the the tangle pattern site so for those that that aren't aware um it is just rather cool all right so I'll pull these down here Deci Hi, and while i'm doing Michelle this from santa cruz california hey how are you good how are you doing good <laughs> Glad to have you. Somebody's yeah, watching from here. bed. They're just watching in the UK because it's past midnight. Yeah. <laughs> well, wow. I, somebody else to, texted, posted something. I think it was, oh, I don't know, mm -hmm. who said that she was tangling in bed. So, oh, you know. <laughs> well, you know, it's the best. I, I have read it's a great sleep aid. Yeah. You have a, a level right. place and a, can hold a pen or a pencil. You can do it. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I think I don't have that up here. All right. Let me do this. Is that your hair chair squeaking, Heather? Yeah. I rearranged some stuff and I'm now I, I'm gonna have to. I I moved the other chairs I had in here and this is just like a wood chair and I'm gonna have to do something to it. All right. Because that's you know unless we're unless it's you know Halloween and I want to have that creaky creepy noise. All right, so this is, I'm gonna to try to, I'll try to sit still. Uh, so this is why, <laughs> by CZT Daniela Nielsen. And um, and I think it was probably the name that caught my eye on the newsletter, because a lot of times I'm like, oh, I'll go look and see what it is later. And and then I never do. Um, but this one just piqued my interest. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how cute is this? So like, we have to do this on Thursday. And um, so as you see, it starts off with a set of double lines. And I might, you know, so I might redo these. I'm not sure. Um, just because I think I can split out some of the steps and it might make it a little um, eas more easily understood. But anyway, so we're starting with a set of two lines and then putting these large curved lines almost they you know what they look like gumdrops i was just gonna say that heather i i didn't think about that this morning i called them large bumps because it's kind of like, like like crescent moon but big but gumdrops yeah yeah and then we put an orb on one side and um and i said to, and to me it looks like an eyeball and, I'll, and, and in a minute I'll, I'll share the you know from her post um, because it does have to do with the eyes, and it's just really funny. And then we're gonna we're gonna do some auraing. And for those new to Zentangle, auraing is essentially outlining, but this one is a little different. So if you look at say this first um, gumdrop, we'll call them. Uh, so we're auraing the one side, but we're coming and coming around. But then at the top, we're gonna kind of we're meeting. We're we're actually like we're kind of like drawing a line from. Uh, from one side to the to the next, from top to bottom. So that's what you just have to figure. I kind of figured, well, if I do it and then kind of at the middle point, then kind of go straight up or straight down, depending it's on which like direction a, you're going. Like a, it's a wine glass shape. <gasps> it is. If it was, if it was, um, <laughs> if these were angled, it'd be like little martinis because that could be the olive. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't usually put anything in wine, so that wouldn't work. I'm like, oh, it could be like a cherry in wine. On I don't know, <laughs> but it does look like a glass, so that's a good way to describe it. So that you know, so that so we're kind of like auraing one side and then the other side, and this is where well, it actually was in the fill-in section where I got confused. So we're gonna do that for each of these um, little bumps or gumdrops, and then we just get to fill in. 
so you could uh, she put just straight lines and i know i mentioned earlier i said gosh any any kind of texture you would want to do besides also just filling in a solid color um you could do where i found myself and i did it this morning too is just being really careful that we are decorating in between these orbs so here so we have the gumdrop the surrounding wine glass we'll call it or beaker depending on which way it's shaped um and then it's that in between section that we're filling in um but like i said i you know i was i was uh joking that i said well gosh you do line you know lines or orbs and, and then I, I said something about well gosh you could you know, i wonder what it would look like to alternate them and i thought oh no just to do it consistently would be probably better and somebody did it alternatively i think it was sandy from um from ireland and i'm like oh my gosh that looks amazing so you can you know it, it will look just fine if you want to or you know if you wanted to fill in like this here and do a whole section and you could alternate just you know it's all up to our imagination so let me quick show oh, so here I is tangle can't hear anything is that Oops. my it might be well if you can't hear me then i can't tell you that let's see we'll type or somebody can type if, if everybody can hear still i can hear you you can hear okay good let's say if somebody i'm sure somebody will type i don't know why my thing looks really weird um let's see where is the, so most everybody oh. is saying they can hear they can hear okay good 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 and so and who said whoever said they can't hear like you say they they can't hear me saying they can't hear <laughs> all right um, um, write a message and say type you know. yeah type yeah it, it, check your check the speakers yeah i hate that when there's technical issues oh and i'm just looking at that one that was called confect confectus i'm gonna have to, uh, ooh, and it's for fun so sometimes i'll sit here and i'll just watch the watch this banner go and write down the names i still do it this for fun looks like it would be for fun okay we're gonna have to do that anyway so here's her um uh the submission to tangle patterns and like you right up here at the top subscribe it's free um, if you if you like it and want to support her, um, that's always nice. She puts together uh, a yearly, and it's way down here at the bottom somewhere, an annual guide, which basically just has these little thumbnails in it. But it's really nice to be able to flip through um, because the names are so hard to remember sometimes. Um, so her story is that uh, she says, one day I was sitting and relaxing with my eyes closed. I saw lots of pretty colors for my inner eye and this pattern was hidden in the colors. I drew it down straight away so I would not forget it. Um, and then she played around with it and, um, you know, said, oh, this could be a ribbon or a border. And so this is neat how she she made a border with it. Um, and I think that that was the only interesting thing. She is from, uh, she's Danish. So um, so that was really cool. And this, this um, at the top here almost looks like um, Mary Hill, sort of not maybe not oh well, mary hill backwards i don't know but um but yeah so you could do something like this and decorate the tops i'm just just sharing for ideas um so as you're deciding what to do for those new to to this there's kind of no expectation except for just to give it a try and if you want to make it you know kind of a finished product that is up to you otherwise you could just be you know uh just playing around with it so that way later on you can feel comfortable with it all right, so let me stop the screen share and oh, a wishbone Lynn says, <laughs> yeah, it depends on on what we're what we're looking for, you know, for either hungry or <laughs> oh, and one of one of hers that almost looked like a tennis racket. It just you know made me think of a tennis racket. Oh but, yeah, you know, tennis racket wouldn't have a handle going each way, but it just momentarily looked like a tennis right. Racket. How funny. So, all right. So I have to think about what was I going to do? Well, I mean, I'll, you know, I'll, so this is what I did this morning. Oh, and I kind of went, oh, I, I know what I wanted to do today. And then, and I do have these prepped and ready to go. So what I did, I decided as I was talking, I'm like, ooh, these lines would go great. And you just morph them right into Rick's tea. And I did sprinkle and, uh, or anything organic that you might want. And so a lot of people did that, but that is entirely, entirely up to you what i decided i want to do i think i'm putting a bijou tile right here in the center and i'm going to trace around it oops and i think i'm hearing somebody 
mic, maybe? Or I'm just getting the echo. Echo, echo. Oh, I see. Oh, you know what, Lynn, I'm going to mute you just in case it might be that. Sometimes it's really, I, I have this happen on, even on Zoom, where oddly, like, um, somebody's talking and, um, and, and there's like feedback coming from somebody else's, you know, computer and it's just really, really odd. Okay. So I, so I, I kind of had a plan in mind. I'm going to make mine into a border this time. So I'm going to start my lines. I'm going to put them right up here. Make sure I can be seen here at the top. Oh, yeah, the, the Michelles are talking because <laughs> I know we had a couple Michelle S's. That's so funny. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, I'm going to start. I'm, I'm putting mine right as close as I can to the top. And this, I am going to. Let's see. Oh, let me go for Somebody this wanted way. to know the size of the Bijou card. It's. Uh, oh, two and two a half. inches by two. Uh, no, two by two. Two by two? Yep. It's a two by two. And what I'm working on is a traditional uh, Zentangle tile, which is three and a half. Yes. <laughs> three and a half square. Mothers are good uh, for something. <laughs> <laughs> for lots of things, uh, especially Zentangle, because this is all your fault. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this lady we were talking, this nurse we were talking to, she said, I would love to draw, but I can't draw a thing. So then, you know, yeah, <laughs> you're you started. Yeah. <laughs> Neither can my daughter. Well, yeah, that's where you that's where you do like can you draw can you make a straight line? Can you make an S? Can you make, you know? All right. So I have my double lines here. Now we're gonna put in the well, I'm I'm just gonna go with gumdrops. And I think I'm gonna start right here. In the middle and then work my way out either way so i'm going to do the traditional with the border because okay. i think i've never done this one before as usual heather always picks well, one that i have never i have never even heard of this one well this one is brand new the oh, other ones oh, are just really old <laughs> okay <laughs> Got this it. one is like hot off the presses and then, so when you're spacing the gumdrops, and some of you are probably, because we're yapping, you're probably half done and into the next one already, you know, or, you know, doing multiples. So putting these, actually, this kind of look like, like big teeth, too. So you can, you know, you know, have them as, as, you know, big as you want, as far apart or whatever as you want. And what's so neat about this one, especially neat, is just the whimsical nature of it. So then there's really no pressure for having anything straight or, you know, it, 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 whatever happens, it makes it even more fun to look at. And all of the other tangles are fine with that. But then, there, I mean, but there are some where it's like, well, it's like if you're doing paradox, it's really helpful to have, to have somewhat straight lines or, you know, some of the other ones where there's a little bit of, you know, you, you, you want to do it the way they have it. Um, and let's see, I'm going to put my, my little orbs on going to this side since I didn't leave enough room over there. And then you can also, you can leave a little sparkle open. So, you know, when you're coloring in like that, you can, well, that one isn't a very good example, but if you leave a little, a little white space or original, uh, whatever your original tile color is a little opening there, it makes for a little sparkle. And if you don't quite get one, then you can always go back if you have a white jelly roll and add that. All right. Okay. So once we have that, then we're going to do that, uh, the, the weird aura -y thing. And so again, so I'm going to start in the middle here. So I'm, I'm going to aura, move this so that way I can feel better with it in my hand. Um, so I'm just ordering sort of around and then coming up, up to the top as soon as I'm right around there. Now, one thing to note, if you are, uh, if you decide to do it like this, where, you know, you're kind of backing, doing them back to back. I, when I did them, I, I kind of copied what she did, where I mirrored each section. So, if, you know, wherever I had the, the gumdrop on the flip side, I made it the same. And then the trick, another trick is also when you're doing the aura to kind of watch and, and line those up where you have them, because it kind of makes for the neat background if it kind of looks continuous. 
All right, and then so just yeah, you know, I like the the wine glass idea. And I don't know that you have to come up. Let me look at her thing again. I don't know if yet that you really have to come up to a. Well, she did come up to kind of a straight line, sort of. Or I mean, where it was kind of narrow. I take that back. But that's up to you. And. And right off the side there. All right, and then I'm going to draw some more straight lines. Yeah, so mine are going to end up a little bit small because I'm I'm I want to keep this little center in here. And then always I didn't mention why, as I said, turn turn the tile. But, you know, turn the make sure to turn your tile so that way it's comfortable in your hand when you're drawing, or like especially doing auras, because sometimes it's just uh, you want to be able to see where what you're auraing, as well as you know just have it be comfortable. And I'm making my little straight lines a little bit. <laughs> They're very narrow and not very straight, but that's okay. It adds to it. And I think I will do here again. I don't know, sometimes it is fun to just start in the middle, work your way to the sides, because that way, you know, you might have a have a partial one um, on both sides, and it just kind of looks neat, makes it look continuous. Yeah, I'm doing mine <laughs> on, a, on a diagonal, and, and I'm doing all Ooh. my... Um, my gumdrops first. But oh, I, okay. I've had, I've had to go back and look at the step out that you did <laughs> three or four times already um, <laughs> to just keep in mind what I'm doing. Right, right. Yeah, and I think, I mean, it's good to just, yeah, to do all of those. I decided not to, apparently. I'm so excited to just do those other steps. And, and most times I do like to do to do all of, you know, the one thing at a time. And then move on. Depending, because sometimes there's some of them where, um, like my favorite flourish, that um, it, I just find myself getting uh, trying to avoid getting lost and, and confused with you know what step I'm on, and then uh, so I end up doing like you know one one four square at a time. And oh no, had I left that that side? Oh, I forgot to put my <laughs> what? You put the orbs. Oh, all you got to put your orbs in. You put them all on the same side. And that's what she did. But I, you know, like in in that row. So whatever the row is, she put it on the one side. But I did notice that on um, you know, one of the other things she did, she had you know. Like one row was going one direction and another row was going another direction. Okay. So I can do whatever I want. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You could have them going on different. I was thinking it could kind of look neat if you had them on different sides. You could have it looking up. Too late. I'm doing them all on the same side. Oh, that one is kind of squarish. If I tried to do that because I wanted to, I wouldn't have been able to. <laughs> oh. All right. Boy, it's hard to get right there on that edge. Hmm. I did. I, I decided to do the gumdrops. So, you know, like in the center, you know, look, looking at this in the center of each, and then working working out either way. All right. Well, I've noticed with Linda Farmer, the one that does the tangle patterns dot com. Yeah. A lot of times she'll comment um, that. Well, 
I saw it once. I don't want to say a lot of time. I saw it once <laughs> where she said she found uh, doing who's, I don't know whose pattern or what pattern it was, but she found doing it upside down from what the originator did was oh. easier for her. So, yeah. you know, you, that's one reason you turn your tile, however it's comfortable for you to draw it. And, you know, if it's more comfortable for you to do it a little bit different. Well, like um, my favorite example is um, Cubine. I do it totally different. Oh, uh-huh. I have one that's out of line over here, but that's okay. <laughs> Nobody will notice. Um, oh, but I do that totally different than um, the way it was originally done because I just find it's easier. And I, that's the way I teach it. And most everybody I've taught it that way agrees with me. Oh. <laughs> we can well, ask. I'll have, to, yeah. I'll have to see how you do yours. But yeah, you know, well, and then two, I mean, you know, because I'm right-handed and I'm not, I don't, I can't even think what, because I know I've had some conversation with some, you know, if you're left-handed, you know, it's definitely just easier to say whatever's comfortable for you, um, do. And somebody wrote, uh, oh, say Tina, uh, sudden urge to create Zentangle designs on ceramic tiles. Um, uh, then paint them bright colors like Spanish tiles. Yeah. yeah. And, and actually, let's see. Um, oh, yeah, definitely steady hands for these in-between lines. Ah, no, don't, 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 don't go the ruler way. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it, flipping back here. A lot of it is muscle memory. And the more you do it, the more you're going to find. Well, like I have these long straight lines here. And if you oh, just. Yeah. You know, start at the top and just pull your hand down and start at them. Just pull your hand down. Right. If you look real close, they're not real perfect as far as spacing or anything, but nobody's ever going to notice that. It's um, right. You know, nothing to and get. There's, there's a, yeah, around. there's a beauty in, in you know, and it's uh, just not, you know, knowing it's, that, hey, somebody did that done. because, yeah. yeah. By hand. Yeah. And I think the hardest thing somewhat about this and, and about, you know, the, the worrying about, you know, being straight or having a ruler, you know, we have to, oh, it's that hard. It's hard to come to terms with the fact that it's okay in Zentangle to, or there's just no such thing as a mistake. It's just not. Right. There's no such no such thing because we we've had a lot of really happy act happy quote accidents. Actually, well, here's my oops that you gave me, mom. Oh, I had yeah. to write what I had to write the words because I kept forgetting. It's occasional opportunities presented suddenly. <laughs> this is a big eraser. This that is what erasers use. are for, right? I'm going to tangle on the rest of it because that's it's what just, erasers. Yeah, are it's for. just for display purposes. <laughs> But it is hard. It, it's hard. To, you know, it's almost like we have to convince ourselves. Oh, it's okay. And we tell ourselves that all the time. It's okay. It's just a piece no of paper. Mistakes. Yeah, it's just a piece of paper. <laughs> all right. So, actually, hmm, hmm. now, you know, I do like the, the little lines. So I'm going to do the little lines. Oh, maybe I'll do opposites or something. I don't know. Because I did like the orbs also. And it's just a hard to decide which to do so but with the, you know, like with these little lines what i have found besides i have to be careful okay we're doing it in the middle so not this not this open section around the gumdrop in the middle is if i if i'm not pressing real hard and i'm kind of like just letting the pen kind of tickle the paper sort of and you know my lines aren't necessarily straight straight but it they look naturally like they're supposed to i don't know it's not quite like a like you're sketching, you know, where you have a lot of lines, but it just it adds character. We're going to call it that. And being that this is a whimsical anyway, it just adds to the whimsy. Now I was thinking I might I might be coloring all of mine yellow because in the earlier session I'm like they kind of look like minions. <laughs> That too. 
<laughs> then, oh, then, but see, then I could I could have drawn. Oh, see, that's why I have to draw another one. I might be able to fit on some. I could just draw another circle around there. Do two two eyes on it, or one? Yeah, eye? no, it'd just be it'd just be yeah, one eye. Just looking sideways because some of those things had uh, had just one, but they all have like the little little goggles on. I but then again, it's like oh, it's just kind of fun to leave it up to your imagination. All right, let's see. <laughs> seize, seize the minions. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to do my back line, back round lines, like yeah. how about, you know, just picking up my pen, but it's yeah. such a distance between oh, yeah. that it doesn't, it doesn't really work too well. But it's, no, yeah. and I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, yeah, on those ones no. so much, really. I mean, if you really want to, you can. But, uh, I mean, the fact that, uh, now that I remember the word yeah. repetitive, um, <laughs> uh, nature yeah, of, Zen, of Zentangle, you can kind of play games with yourself. You know? Yeah. You can do it like the hollow bow method, or you can go straight down and not do that. Or, you know, it's just like you just play little mind games with it, with your yeah. mind. Yeah. Oh, I keep looking. I think I'm, I think I might do orbs on the on the on the alternate sides. I'm just thinking that. But yeah, just yeah, you know, it, it it's simple enough and it's cute enough. Well, and some of my lines aren't going from one side to the other. That's always nice, but that's okay. Well, and two, I mean, now if you wanted to, I mean, you could, if you had a big enough space, you could do the thing where you leave a sparkle in. And for those that don't know, it's just like leaving a gap, you know, like that. You just kind of do it in a similar area. So that way it looks like, you know, like a shine. Well, you know, <clears throat> that last little book that I got, the person that drew it, I mean, all her drawings looked like they are done with, um, uh, what do you call it? Like a, with a quill pen or something with a pen point oh, uh -huh. that opens and closes because the line changes from thick to thin. And, and that's the way her lines look just like what you were talking about. They're not, yeah. they're, they're not solid and they're, you know, they're beautiful, but they're not solid. Oh, I almost did an oops, but I didn't. I stopped myself. <laughs> I'm doing my background with the brown pen just. Oh, nice. Oh, I did an oops. <laughs> uh oh. That's okay. I'll get a white jelly roll pen and I'll fix it. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. so we have ways. So just like we don't have rulers, we don't have, uh, oh, let's see, great attitude for the mind so we don't place unreal, yes, unrealistic expectations on ourselves in life. Yes. I'm perfectionist. I'm, oh yeah, I'm, yeah. Get anxious if things aren't perfect. Oh, and so yeah, Tina's a, so if you're not reading the chat, is an intensive care nurse. So I think it goes with the territory. Well, sure. Well, and I, especially that when you have some, if you have somebody's life in your hand, that's different. This might be a good release. So that way you can be like, okay, oh, it's all right for a minute. You know, you can just kind of, you know, be okay with, uh, you know, if things, don't go because sometimes we just need to have that and it's it's yeah and it's okay sometimes we just can't control stuff either and um and i think and being okay with that is what's hard so with zentangle you know when things go awry then we have i call them course corrections so there's always different ways so one way is filling in so if if you like didn't like so if i didn't like these lines i know in my head it's like well if i don't like the way they turned out i know i can just fill them all in black and then it's fine and nobody will be nobody will be the wiser except for me but then I won't you know it's you just learn how to you know what things can you do without using well the fun is without using an eraser you know white gel pen is close it's almost like white out yeah but on, on only on a white tile though <laughs> oh yeah that's right yeah, only on a white tile we yeah. do have and I don't know if I have it here let's see 
we do have the good old um, we call it, we call it the Bronx cheer. Um, it's essentially it looks like a little raspberry. Oh, here I have one. Oh, because oh, I was using this when I did uh, sprinkle on my video thing. So right here was a was a something that um, there was just no other alternative. So we just you make a little cluster of these you know orbs, little pearls, and then you put a couple lines on the top, and and there you go. And we just say to you. Oopsie. <laughs> oh. All right. So now I'm going to add some. The, it's, it's, it's fortunate that I was filling it in with black. And, and like yeah. when you go to correct with the, the jelly roll, sometimes you have to let it dry and then come back again right. and just dab at it. But by the yeah. time I do, it's just a tiniest little one. And by the time what? I uh, uh, do some shading, you'll never notice. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, because I had on mine where I um, I accidentally started uh, putting the little lines. I can't even find it. Well, that, but, see, that's the beauty when you can't even find where you goofed. Every but time I started I putting it in the wrong place, and oh, right here, and then I'm like, oh, shading. You're never gonna see it. <laughs> oh, and I almost. I was just gonna say, and I wanted to fix it fast so it didn't make me do it again. And, I and then almost, you almost did it again. I almost did it again, but I stopped myself. <laughs> Sometimes I think of this as it, it's uh, like practicing creative problem solving. That's true. And then what I'm going to do with these orbs is I'm going to go back and fill them in. And you know, it's a, and let's see. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Shelly says, yeah, like putting a brooch on a stain or a blush. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Uh, well, <laughs> okay. we don't have our microphones on, but um, I have a I have a story about Joyce who is on the phone because yes. she she has this very neat shirt that has a big zentangled flower. Right, it's a white shirt with a big blue zentangled flower in the middle of it because that's what she did. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> covered up a spot, and it's beautiful. I, you, I mean, you would swear it was. She bought it that way. Turned out great. <laughs> but you know, okay, I was. She oh, had thanks. <laughs> thanks, yeah, Sheree. Now, now you could show us. <laughs> Run quick, get it. <laughs> See, it's good when 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 mom has other friends coming on. Then she's not telling all the stories about me. <laughs> <laughs> and three, uh, you you uh, you put uh, to go slowly. Can I can I back something up and 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 explain something back again for you? Just let me know. Because okay. I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah, it's because like, because it, really all we're doing is we're just doing this coloring in in part, and that's kind of a up to you type of thing. But yeah, let me know if I need to back something up and re-explain something. I'm happy to do that. Oh heck, I forgot what I was going to do. <laughs> I was going to do like you had done with, you know, carrying on the lines with little. Oh, little, yeah. So. Uh, thingamajigers. Yeah, I have a question. So could yeah. we like put like, so we have to like, not like you, but we I put it like lines one side and then another side. And then I just repeated like this. Let's see. Oh, hold it a little closer. Hold it closer. It looks great. Oh, nice. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, you can you can have them going. Yeah. You could, you could have them going crisscross and and the same, you know, <laughs> that's another way to fix it. Do it cross right. half go go both ways. No, yeah. that was great. That was great. Okay, so yeah, so Maggie said, can we start over? I goofed at the very beginning. Did you <laughs> I, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> can we see what your mom like... is doing? Uh, yeah, mom. Yeah, you're. you're <laughs> okay. Well, you mean I can't work in my lap like I usually do? <laughs> Thank I have you. a question. So, what yeah. can we do like in the middle of the in the square? 
so in the middle that's where you could do i mean you can do whatever you want you know what um because you could continue you could make some more in there i know what i was going to do um was i was going to put uh one of these little we have these little bijouisms and i thought that that would be cute that i They're could little, put that in there little cards with with saying yeah with sayings on them what i saw some other people do is they could because this one's called why the other thought i had was i could i could put why you know put the letters so spell out why maybe going diagonal or something or you know or, just write why in the middle or or she could put her initial like a block <laughs> letter initial and then zentangle inside it yeah yeah that would be a good idea yeah you know yeah so yeah uh, um yeah could just put it put a giant one of these right in the middle you know and or it you know just kind of doing like like that much where am i in there like that much of it but put it giant right in the middle i'm not sure what i'm going to do with these tail ends coming out into the border yet I'm inking in the border except for those lines. Yeah. And I don't know yet what I'm going to do. I don't like Rixty. I'm sorry. I don't. I love Rixty. See, I was picking out the, the ones that were, that were the kind of the, that look, cause to me, they look like, like little space guys. And so I was picking out the spacier ones. Um, you know what, actually, Oh, because I could do it both ways. So, so Sri, if you're watching, um, this is something you could do because I could do this and then alternate it. So, I, since, um, well, let's see, which one do I want to do? Well, we'll do a sprinkle, and yeah, they yeah they do they're very susical. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do is i'm going to okay so i'm going to go right here on this line and i'm going to make a like a little curve line like this and have it go up like that uh -huh. okay and then i'm going to fill in that little end so it kind of looks like a little teardrop sort of and then i'm going to do that the aura thing kind of like we did here but what i'm going to do make sure you can see so I'm going around this this kind of bulb thing, making it kind of a circle like this, and going around the other side, and I'm gonna move my, so I can see, and I'm kind of making a big aura going all the way down like that. Are you gonna do that on each one of those that end like that, like the middle ones, that no. one? That's oh, you know what? I could, oh, I could, yeah. You know that other one that's called what is it sand something where it's kind of like a swirl like that and they just oh, keep yeah. aura ing and aura ing <coughs> until you fill in the whole middle but mm -hmm. you could do that on each middle i'm pointing at the <laughs> thing like you can You're pointing see at the screen yeah no yeah you could i have to find that one and do and do that and then so then the next thing three is i i, I put a little aura line right from where i started here with this this, this ball and so just a little aura line right there going back down to the bottom. I have a tickle in my throat here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oops, we lost Heather. I better keep my <laughs> I better keep mine in uh the camera range because <laughs> Heather is nowhere to be found. Where are you, Heather? I'm doing wow. little, um Some, somehow I got knocked off. Yes, you did. Wow. I'm doing I'm doing poke leaf around mine, Heather, from those little Oh neat. Because I like poke leaf. I coughed the internet off. That's what happened. I I was just like, <laughs> oh sheesh. And I go to grab a drink of water and, and then I'm like, why why I'm only seeing mom and then I'm telling you you're <laughs> off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so and they, so after this little aura here then i'm gonna we're gonna put a little hat on this guy just like this so just little curve lines 
oh, mine are not as flat as I normally like them to be, but that's okay. It kind of looks like kind of cool. And then a little, I call it a little swish. That's oh, cute. <laughs> oh, it looks so much better on the screen. That's neat. I like it when that happens. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> oh, and so, Mom, can you uh, move your, yeah, we're still getting that shine on yours. We didn't completely fix yeah. that one. No, we didn't. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't have this down. That helps. Oh, okay. So can you show show poke leaf? And then we'll and then cat and then we'll have Cassie if you want to open up your your mic and, and answer your question or ask your question, oh, no. we'll answer it. Thank hey, you. you a great job. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you can do that all throughout inside if you want to. You can make them bigger or littler just to fill in. So, like, yeah. should we? So should we like just copy this thing like everywhere? Wherever you want to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. That's, that's what's so nice about Zentangle. Yeah. Oops! You it didn't turn your. It didn't it. turn your camera off. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Thanks. Okay, Cassie, you have a question too much to type. <laughs> yes. I was wondering, if you use a brown tile or the Renaissance, I think they are, yeah. um, and you put white in it, can yeah. you shade regularly too or just leave it with the white? Oh, yeah, you can shade regularly too. So you can put the graphite on also. I'm looking for you would because I'm looking one. at it and I have no clue where it would go. Here's yeah, one. Yeah, so well, I don't have okay. any white on this. Well, oh. I'm it was a, sort of the same one. But oh, this okay. is, no, it isn't the same pattern. Mm. Totally different. But <laughs> no, you would normally shade with the graphite and with the white the, to make to give depth. Right. That's why I'm it's. Sure. Right. Renaissance for Ooh, here, and I can't pronounce the road word. And I, uh, I chir chiroscuro, chiroscuro, yes, yeah, that. So here, nice. Cassie. So yeah, here I have white. I would use okay. the white charcoal, and then so what I end up doing is I, I'll put the white charcoal where I where I want it, and then the graphite where I want it, and then using uh, the using the um, the tortillon that I would use for for shading yeah. the graphite. <laughs> Shade, yeah, sorry, my my phone right handy here. So then I'm using the 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 tortillon, and then I'm blending it into the white. Okay. From the dark, yeah, and the, so that way you're not wrecking my, a. My one. mom asked a question. So she yeah. Asked, like, thanks, so, Heather. Like, okay, thanks, Casey. Like, copy both of the drawings, or we could pick like which one should we draw? Oh, say that again. Copy which one? Yeah. So like. Like, we could pick which one to draw, like that one or this one. I'm not understanding her question. Yeah, which which one or which one? So I'm telling, like, so should we, like, could we pick, like, the, the line rectangle or what you're drawing rectangle? Yes. Mm, I am, you know, I'm still not understanding <laughs> Think, you can draw whatever you want to. Right. Yeah. That's, yeah. No, you don't. When you see at the end, is this the first time she's been on? I think. I th yeah, this is your first time, Sri, or have you been on before? I can't remember. I, I keep, when you keep saying time. her name, Heather, I keep okay. thinking you're talking to me. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't call you, I call you mom. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I have trouble even typing. Cherie, I have to put Cherie in parentheses and have to put mom or, you know, vice versa. Usually it's mom and then in parentheses. But, um, but no, Cherie, yeah, you can do, you can put whatever, whatever you want in, you know, just period anyway. So that's, that's right. kind of fun thing. That's we follow the, the pattern. Idea. Yeah. So like, for instance, I, so we followed this pattern and the pattern showed the straight lines, but then I decided, well, I want to put these little orbs in here. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I say it in the middle. We're just adding some accents, you know, of things in the in the middle. But it's pretty much whatever you feel like doing. So like this, you can, um, and I might just do that where I add several of these, um, kind of going around. Ooh, maybe I'll go this way. 
you can take the same if you only know four patterns like when i teach a basic class or heather teaches we usually teach four beginning patterns and with those four patterns you can change them up and move them around and do them in all kinds of different different directions and designs that's something that you know heather you don't really touch on here is the string yeah because <laughs> <don't know. laughs> you don't like it i know <laughs> Because uh, you know you you no, right yeah you're only used doing two patterns so you usually divide it in half or like you know uh, like this is sort of like a monotangle where you're doing yeah. one across the whole thing but um, when you're doing a string which is just uh, like a squiggle or dividing the whole square into lines in different directions. And then you put the patterns in the different spaces and it just changes the whole look of the whole thing. Yeah. Same patterns, just putting them in well, different, you, different yeah. putting them together differently like a puzzle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So like even here, so this one, it was one that we did this sprinkle, you know, and I had a pattern on the inside that was one pattern. And then we put that on the outside because those are the, the two that we did. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just having fun with the, uh, you know, with whatever patterns that you want to do. This one, I, I just kind of added these, you know, extra to the main uh, tangle that we were doing, which is this one around the border, because it's it's sometimes fun to just, uh, you know, have some other little accent ideas to do. And I like doing these little orbs. So I hope that helps, Ree. <laughs> and, and I want to know how old you are, Sri. I'm seven. You're seven? Oh, that's so awesome. Let me get some more of these little orbs here. And then um two when uh if you if you do fill in with the orbs, one of the nice things to do, because this is essentially the tangle called tipple, and one of the things that we finish it off with is um where the where the little gaps are is just you know kind of Actually, mine are nicely, pretty tight together, but we kind of fill in those little gaps. So it, it, it even adds more to the texture, but it, it kind of makes things pop a little bit, too. And sometimes it's just a matter of just kind of put the pen in there because some of these little gaps are so small. Because for whatever reason, I always make my little orbs so tiny. Um... These, yes. So, uh, Shelly, those are, that's called sprinkle. Let me, um, really, I'll put the, I meant to do this earlier. I can put the link to that step out in there. Actually, and I just, I just did a video on this one, I think yesterday. It seems like so long ago. But yeah, that way, if you guys, if you want that one. Um, so, so yeah. like so is it like this? I do it like, so this one is like, like this one is like they're hugging each other and these are yeah. like, like the big one is holding the small one and I do also lines to support like the drawing. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's very yeah, nice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, she, that's she, nice to have that kind of mix in there. Yeah. She, I think she was looking at your, your crisscrossing. Like oh yeah, all about effect when you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, what kind of pencil are you using? Are you just using a regular pencil to shade, Mom? I'm using yes. It's well, I'm using a Zentangle pencil, but uh, <laughs> it's basically a number two pencil. A school yeah. pencil works just fine. Yeah. And then, um, and then, uh, then she's using the tortillon to smudge, which I haven't even started doing that. So I should do that, uh, you know, because I can fill in the rest of that and if I want to, or I can do that. So yeah, what I was doing with the shading, and I think you're doing the same thing too, Mom. Is so I'm taking, and, th and this is a colorless, uh, colorless, <laughs> woodless, <laughs> it's a woodless. Oh my goodness, it's a woodless graphite pencil and so i'm just going around the edges of these 
on the outside of of the wine glass slash tuning fork slash wishbone. <laughs> and, oh, I, just, me... I just had all oh, I could do it. I could do it. <laughs> what? Well, I, I've, you know how I like usually like to shade with graphite my outer border. Yes. And I've got these pulp leaves out here now. And mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do the whole border in black. Oh. Around the pulp. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, nice. Pretty. It's a tortillon, Tina, is what it's called. And it's just, it's just rolled up piece of paper. Um, there are other ones called stumps. This is a stump, the, the, and it's more. They're solid. They're solider. Yeah. Actually, yeah. the stumps you can you can to clean them. I don't have. I don't have a stump, so I just shade with like I just shade with like Indian pencils. Like they're kind of like shading tools. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. You, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Like a Q-tip you could use. Tissue yeah. and your finger. If you watch some of the videos from, uh, you know, Rick and Maria, a lot of times she just uses her finger. I think it just depends on what you're, what she's shading. I remember seeing that, and I thought that was just so, so it was funny and cool at the same time. But yeah. So just yeah, and it's, I, I call it a smudgy thing. Yeah, is there an untechnical name for it? Yeah. Oh, you can't. Oh, mine is just a little too blurry. Yeah, because you, you can, you can. Well, if you could see. Yeah, you can feel the ridges, and I, actually, I have to kind of. I they need to get a um, toothpick or something to poke this out because these ones, the tortillons, you have to be careful of because since I can do this now, I mean, because you can mash them in like that, and then if you you could uh, unfurl a a paper clip, or I'll usually use a, a toothpick and stick it in the the backside here and pop it right back out. Um, I I saw a video on uh, YouTube one time where this guy was teaching art to prisoners in jail mm. you know and they weren't allowed a lot of different things oh. and he taught them how to make their own tortillons and then um this one uh lady that i taught at opc uh well the senior center where i go nobody's going to know what opc is except two right. ladies from there um <laughs> she they taught art for 40 years and she would always have her students make their own and uh oh. The video on YouTube, um, I mean, he showed how to make them, and it was just, you took like a triangle piece of paper. I think he was using Post-it notes or something. Yeah. And uh, you just roll it up real tight and, and, and use it. Yeah. yeah and I do kind of like this. Oh, neat. They're like nice. connected. So I just stacking, stacking stacks like. So the first one has a small one, then it has a bigger one, then it, like the small one was holding everything. Nice. Nice, nice. That's excellent. And yeah, the, yeah, Carla, it's uh, um, the older person's council, I think is what, isn't that the official yeah. name for OPC? Yeah. <laughs> they, they had to name it that for some kind of tax purposes, but it's a senior activity center. One of, you know, it's one of a kind. We have people, we used to, until all this mess with COVID, um, we used to have people coming to tour it uh, from all over the country because uh, it's very unique in everything that it offers. It's a wonderful place. Yeah. Usually. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I don't even like to refer to it as like a senior because it's that everybody that I've met there is so active it's you know it's you know i i older persons is a better yeah, description no, the reason it. the reason she doesn't like to refer to it as that because she's old enough to go there now if she lived in the community <laughs> <laughs> i've already dad like on the last couple of videos i've already I, I don't know how many times i've dated myself with something <laughs> oh. <laughs> And I won't say how how young you can be to be there. But it, you don't have to be sixty five. That's right. yeah. Because there was a <laughs> when they when they lowered the age to allow people Heather's age and even a little younger in. There was a big 
brouhaha with all the 65 year olds. Oh, don't let those young people in, they'll spoil the whole thing. <laughs> Remember all that rock and roll stuff? Yeah, <laughs> I was just gonna say that. They'll play that music and, <laughs> and, and their newfangled telephone things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am pretty. I, I'm not sure. I, I, I kind of want to, but it'll make it too dark if I do something else. So, because what I did on so on the earlier one, I kind of did. I think like what you were doing there, Mom. Oh no, wait. What did you do? Did you? Oh no, you colored the outside of those lines. Yeah. Okay. Wait, yeah. Outside of what lines? The the these lines. Yeah. I oh I yeah. didn't do anything in the middle. I didn't do the middle. I have to do the middle yet. And oh. I only went halfway around oh. my black border. That black border looks really amazing. Yeah, because what I started, because I, uh, I was almost thinking, because I, I haven't finished this one, um, and I did do kind of the dark around the sides, and I was debating, but it was kind of the same idea where, you know, I want these to kind of grow outside, but have, uh, have these sections kind of sinking down into... Um, uh, into the recesses, kind of, kind of like the shadow box idea. Mm -hmm. That's what my aim was, but I needed yep. to finish these. And uh, I can still do that on mine on the inside, but I didn't put any. So I have to put a little something here. <laughs> yeah, it's just they're just so neat. Oh my goodness! And I'm looking. It's like it, it is. I, and, uh, and thanks, thanks, Carla. Yes, it must. It's a pretty young age that they have. That, that yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, my my grandson Heather's nephew are all, well not it's a, my only grandson she has other nephews from her husband's side of the family is four and his mom taught him how to draw a cat so we're thinking oh if he can draw a cat <laughs> yeah he can yeah because he can so I want to see what everyone has done being that it's eight o'clock we kind of got carried away. Um, I said, and I'm gonna. I have to finish. We'll have to finish. I, I'm pretty tickled with how that one turned out. I might even just leave those those my two little sprinkles there. Oh, oh, and I didn't even tell you how to shade those, but that's okay. Any way you want. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I usually shade from that little that little set. Oh, look at that! Oh, show me. That's neat. You kind of. That's cool. Oh, it's and then everybody thing. keeps shifting. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing. Oh, Marina, that is neat. All of them are neat. Oh, let's see. Who's this? Oh, Diane, that's really cool with the, uh, you know, in the circle like that. I love oh, the way people and... challenge themselves. Yeah. Oh, and Tom and Carla, I love those. Oh, yeah. And, and coloring in the, um, those, like Carla did there. Oh, they're all so neat. All right, so it says, as people get, oh, these are just amazing. Okay, and I, I'm gonna get my fingers ready to do a screenshot so as everybody's on, we'll, we'll give it a second. Oh, and who is this? Oh, I like those, Mary, with the colored background. See, that's, you don't have to draw lines, you could just do solid colors. All right, hold them up steady for one second. I think that, oh, no, we got one more. There we go. And got it. Nice. Great. So it's a good oh, thing I'm, uh, working on this black uh, foam core because Dad's desktop would be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, was, let me let me paste this so that way I have it. Come on, there we go. Um, and I was looking. I think it was uh, Shula meets yours. So either um. Those turn out really neat, and you had the the kind of like the curvy lines or the oaring, they they're kind of like trailed together differently. That's really neat. They're also I'm 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 looking at the screenshot now, just marveling. Wow, wow, wow! It's another one that has lots of uh, possibilities. Yeah, and it's just so different. That's what. Yeah, it just it's just yeah, so neat, so different. So whimsical. Well, thank you, Marina. I like how mine turned out. Yeah. It turned out. Oh, uh, Shulamit wants to see Mary's again.
Yeah, that's neat. And I like the little kind of curved line there in the side. It just kind of, it kind of like gives it that little uh, shine from what I'm seeing. Yeah, you could you could actually make those inner ones look like gems. Oh, and I just oh, I just noticed I have uh, <laughs> one whole. Well, only two that I oh, forgot. you forgot oh, orbs. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> that is so neat, Mary. Could we see your mom's again? Yeah, so yes, yeah, get yours in the screen, mom. <laughs> you can you can always tell mine because there you see go. the legs the legs of my um yeah oh, there. now it's camera. On, now it's on screen yeah but that yeah that looks really neat with the with the poke root you know coming out there like that how neat it's just I don't like uh, filling in but I will do it <laughs> you I, just I gonna, you should have put more poke roots going a different direction and then you wouldn't have to well fill that's in so true much. but. I started out with them going the direction that those lines were going. Oh. I have okay. Yes, I yes, three. So and my question is, here. like, do we have to, like, make our own things or we could follow you guys or something else? Because I don't, oh. I don't get any ideas to do anything. Oh, the patterns. Yeah. So let's see. So are you on a regular computer? I'm on my phone. Oh, okay. You know what, Sri? Um, after this, what I'm going to do, because I think um, if your mom signed you in, um, I will send an email because there's a lot of places that you can get um, get these patterns. Mm -hmm. And then you just follow and then you just follow the patterns and, um, you know, and have fun with them just like we did today. And, or, um, and people make up these patterns, so you can make yeah. up your own patterns. But the idea of a pattern is to do it in the steps, like Heather showed the the one pattern, the step outs, is so that anybody can draw them. But you can make up your own. Just yeah. So I made my own like this. Nice. So I followed that. The things you made, but I didn't like make straight. I like stacked everything up. Uh huh. <laughs> and do hearts and circles and lines. That works. <laughs> I was just trying and to. The, and do you see like the seats that I like colored? I leave yeah. them white because it could be good. Yeah, I think it looks amazing. And they also added a pretty cube here. Uh-huh. Yeah. See, and then you can go back and you can you can color all that in if you want to too. And see that yeah, it's I don't a, want to see color. That, yeah. Can I ask a question? Are you gonna be yeah. on next Thursday so here? And oh, for me or for so here? So here. Oh, she's usually on every Thursday. I don't know if she did she let me see if she popped off already. Okay. No, I'm talking about oh. the, the girl, young girl. Oh, three. Yeah. You're gonna be on. So you next Thursday, you're gonna yeah, join I'm us gonna again. Get my grandson to get on. He's six. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. So if. You, yeah. I should. I should do. You know. I should really try to do one. That, you know, just for kids. That would be kind of fun. But you know, it's fun to have a mix of everybody. So. Sure. Well, thanks, well, Tom and Carla. On FaceTime. So. Thanks okay. See you next All right, week. Helen. Sweet yes. Sweet so next week I'm doing a Tuesday Sweet one. Thank okay. you so much, oh, yeah. Heather. Oh, and so a, next and week. a Thursday. So yesterday I did right. this. Whoa, what time is this? The Tuesday one and Thursday. All right. See you guys next week. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Bye. Helen. Yeah. So that's beautiful, Sweet. Yeah. So Tuesday we're gonna do uh, this uh, transcending and talking about shading and highlighting and and things like which, that, which might be a little bit. More advanced than yeah. what you can handle, but the two yeah. Thursday one would be good. Then, then what I can handle? Oh, oh no, <laughs> the young, the seven-year-old. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. oh, thanks, Shulamit. Just shut up. What's going on? Oh, and, and um, that'll be. Thank we you. The meetup thing. You'll have the time and everything. Yes. Yeah, okay. I have it. I have one, I think I have one maybe published on Meetup, um, and I'm working on the other one, because I kept, I kept getting distracted with this, you know, silly real life, you know, like, 
work stuff that I had to do. <laughs> oh, was, that, you know. <laughs> you know, I was like, stop interrupting me. Yeah, <laughs> oh, and I should say goodbye to the... Yes, yeah, right. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye to the recording now, so that way I don't have too much to take.